In this first short film, I'll be giving you a brief introduction to auto enrolment and what it will mean to your business in the future. The position we're in at the moment with pensions in the workplace is that most firms who have a workplace pension is either on a defined benefit or more commonly known as a final salary basis or on a defined contribution basis which is very similar to a personal pension arrangement for each of your employees. That system has been in place for many years, however the costs, especially with regard to final salary pension schemes, has increased progressively year on year and led to many firms not having a final salary pension scheme in place anymore and has discouraged a lot of firms from having any form of pension provision. This has led to the government becoming increasingly concerned that fewer and fewer people are going to have pension provision when they get to retirement with the consequent risk that they're going to fall back on the state and benefits that the state has to provide over and above the basic pension which is a right for all your employees. The government took first steps to deal with this in April 2001 with the introduction of stakeholder pensions. However, there was no obligation on either the employer or the employee to contribute to these and the take up as a result was very low. This led to the government saying that they needed to look at different methods of encouraging pension provision in the workplace and rather than go the whole hog and make it compulsory for everyone to be in a pension, they decided that they would make it compulsory for the employer to offer a pension and give each individual employee the right to opt out. The new system that the government is introducing is called auto-enrolment and this is being progressively rolled out over a five-year period so that different size employers have the opportunity to introduce it into their businesses in a progressive way. The first businesses that volunteered to be the guinea pigs for this new system actually went in from October 2011. However, it officially started in October 2012 with the very largest employers. Over the next four years, smaller employers will be progressively introduced into the system and 12 months before each firm has to go in, they'll be advised of what's known as their staging date, this being the date from which they have to have set up a pension scheme that meets all the criteria for auto enrolment. The onus is very much on the employer to make the arrangements necessary and to enrol everyone into the system. The employer has no option but to set up a pension scheme and only the individual employees have the right to opt out. Each employer and their employees will have to contribute to the pension scheme unless, as I've said already, the individual employee decides to opt out. It will cost 1% of relevant salary from October 2016 for each of the employer and the employee and this will gradually rise until October 2018 at which point the full contribution of 3% from the employer and 5% from the employee will be required.